Alessia Otis's guide to Breville. Mara, Mother Mild, make us hail and hearty. My name is Alessia Otis, and I'd like to tell you all about Breville. Breville is the dark grate of the sewer drain where foul and unappetizing debris collects. It is the poorest and dirtiest of Cyrodiil's towns, the oldest and shabbiest, the most plagued by criminals, drunkards, and skooma eaters, and most popular with beast folk and other foreigners. All Breville lacks is a coven of Daedra worshippers to make it the perfect pit of villainy, and many rumors suggest that even more evil and depraved worships are practiced in secret by Breville's wicked heathens. This town is gray, grim, and depressing. The climate is damp and the atmosphere foul because of the fetid channels of the Larsius River that serve as Reville sewers and because of the rank swamps of the lowland margins of the Nibbin Bay where insects and disease breed in abundance. The architecture of the town is remarkable for its unequaled ugliness and disorder. The houses, shops, and guilds are built from cracked and splintered taverns soft from rot and green with mold and mildew. It is a pity that they do not fall down, for they might be rebuilt in a more pleasing manner, but rather they continue to grow on top of one another like mounded middens reaching lofty heights of three and four stories. Beggars and thieves lounge indulgent indolently on balconies overhanging the streets and dump their refuse directly upon the unfortunate passers-by whole families live in teetering shacks on the tops of the houses of the buildings in unimaginable squalor breville's people are dirty and dishonest they live little better than goblins in caves squatting in filthy tumble-down shacks the town citizens are divided into two classes the smugglers skooma eaters bandits thieves and murderers and the wretched beggars and fools that these criminals prey upon. Breville is ruled by crime lords, and the town guard lives in the pockets of the Skuma kingpins. You will not be surprised to find there are many Argonians and Khajiit in this miserable place, since elsewhere and Blackmarsh are close by, but you may be surprised to find many orcs here. However, beast folk are comfortable in the company of other beast folk, as are thieves and brutes naturally drawn to the company of one another. Breville is not organized into orderly districts. However, some landmarks may serve to orient the unfortunate visitor. The castle is approached by rickety bridges over the river to the east. The chapel is to the west. The shops and guilds are arranged in a line with their backs to the east wall and the channels of the river. Between the chapel and the shops and guilds are Breville's ramshackle slums and tenements. The castle is the only sturdy stone-built dwelling in Breville. It is nowhere as dirty and ill-furnished as the timber shacks of the people, but it is still a little better than the houses of the poorest paupers in Anvil or the Imperial City. Count Regulus Terenitus, Terentius, from the respectable family, once a noted tournament champion, is now widely recognized by his people as a drunken wast wastrel and ne'er-do-well. His son, Gellius Terenitius, is a stuttering peacock who cultivates the society of crime lords and skooma eaters. The chapel stonework is in poor repair and covered with mold and mildew. The graveyard is surrounded by a ramshackle unpainted wooden fence, and the graves are untidy and neglected. The primate is a good servant of Mara, but she is unequal to the task of driving sin and wickedness from this nine forsaken town. The priestess is wise and well-liked by those few who visit the chapel, but most people never pass once through the chapel's door except to beg and steal. The inns are a disgrace. It is common to step over prostrate drunks and through pools of sick upon entering, and idlers, gamblers, and pickpockets swarm in the darkness and prey upon unwary travelers. A visitor foolish enough to sleep in these places should expect to be murdered in his bed. The guilds, by contrast, are relatively clean, dry, and quiet, and one forced by necessity to spend a night in Breville might be justified in joining the Fighters Guild or the Mages Guild, despite their savage and godless ways, simply to be assured of a safe place to sleep.
The shops are no worse than any other feature of Breville, and you may be more safe in them from assault or murder on account of the prodigious provisions merchants must take to protect themselves from thieves. If you are forced by circumstances to visit Breville, you will very soon wish to leave, and you will wish to watch your back as you leave, to be sure you are not followed by parades of bandits and assassins. Honor the Nine in prayer.